Okay, so let's say we have the point, I'm just gonna make one up, one, four. So that's my X and my Y. I wanna convert to polar. Okay, so I'm gonna use these transformations. Okay, so X squared plus Y squared must be R squared. One squared plus four squared equals R squared. So one plus 16 is R squared. R then is the square root of 17. Now, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an extra step here. Technically at this point, when we take the square root of both sides, we're supposed to put a plus or minus over on this right side. We really could have either a positive or a negative R. So let's draw this guy out. Here's my point, one, four in Cartesian. So I could say this angle right here, theta, remember theta is the angle from the x-axis. So there's no discrepancy. If I want to measure this angle and use a positive R, my life's going to be a lot easier. I could go through a lot of work and say find this angle and then use my negative R because I'd be facing backwards, but I don't want to go through all that work. There are an infinite number of possible answers here. I'm going to try to find the easiest one, which uses the positive R. So I'm going to use R is square root of 17. I'll type that in the calculator in a minute. And then I'm going to use this to find my angle. So tangent of theta will be the y over the x. So both of these are true statements. Where I got to be careful is this next line. Remember, your calculator will lie to you 50% of the time. Going to this next step, is only true if your point is in quadrant one or in quadrant four. If you're in two or three, this line is a lie. And we'll do something like that so you'll see. I'm in quadrant one, so I can trust my calculator there. So inverse tangent of four over one. I got 75.96 degrees. Uh, square root of 17. Let's approximate that R. 4.12. So I can write this point here as the point. Remember, we always want to do R theta. 4.12 comma 75.96 degrees. So that's a rotation of 75 degrees, then walk out 4.12 units. Or if I wanted, if I wanted to make it more complicated, it would be okay to say, give this angle all the way over here. So that angle plus 180. So I think that would be 155.96 degrees. Now I'm facing the wrong way. My point's right here, but I'm facing down. So I could use negative 4.12. So like on a test, if you wrote this, sure, I'd give you full credit. It's a legitimate answer, but why would you wanna go through all that extra work? You were done here. Okay, now let's do one that's not in quadrant one. This is where mistakes happen. This is why you have to worry about this stuff right here. 